Okay, so uh, good afternoon everyone. And I think there was some event as, as well, so because there is a panel discussion also happening at the same time on the Smart Home Expo, and we are also having our event. So, uh, so I think that's going to end in another 15 minutes so that uh, people will be moving out from there and joining in here. So, in the time, I'll just uh, start uh, my session. So, definitely, we have the recording version, so we can share it later as well if they really want it. All right. So, uh, uh, once again, so we are uh, very much happy to uh, be a title sponsor for this uh, uh, environment, which means the virtual expo. And it was like one of its kind and where anyone can attend from anywhere. And uh, so, of course, uh, it gives you more flexibility for anyone to connect in and uh, we can connect it from anywhere in the world. And at the same time, so we want to utilize this uh, uh, platform to uh, share our control for and snap AV experience uh, throughout all the three days. So yesterday we talked about like, uh, so how the home automation is simplified in control for and snap AV platform. So where, when everything combines together, so it makes it more easy for anyone to integrate and control and how easy to user gets control, how they get benefit out of it. Okay, so and uh, our today's agenda would be like uh, two portions. Uh, so first thing I'll be uh, running it through uh, uh, what are the smallest things which is very much uh, important in home automation aspect. And at the same time, so how the customer can actually do the personalization. So which gives them a lot of flexibility uh, to play around with the home automation environment. So it is not that like kind of constant environment so where they can play around with their favorites or the lighting scenes or any of those kind of things so i'm just gonna run through that and uh, of course if you are a customer so you will be actually knowing what and all you can get out of it so and if you are a dealer so even you will be knowing how you can make your customer experience better and if you are gonna becoming a dealer so definitely you will also will be knowing it uh how we can actually uh make uh use out of control for in your user experience Right, so and uh, if you have any questions, always you can do uh, type in. So once we done the session, so definitely we'll open up for uh, questions as well at last. So definitely we can uh, discuss in. So if you have any questions and other things, uh, as I told you, the two sessions. So one thing I'll be uh, talking about the personal session, and then of course on the second portion of this session. So we have one of our smart home pro. So is our control for dealers. Uh, is uh, almost like uh, doing control for for almost like 10 years before the control for presence itself we started doing control for basically so from a distributor perspective and uh, he is uh, known for our entire control for dealers and the road the uh, automation industry so uh, prakash Ola from uh, dd automation also will be joining this session and where he is actually going to showcase his cool uh, automation features and how you use this uh, control for platform to uh, enhance his customer experience. Uh, he'll be sharing that as well. So that's the two portion of the session. So I'm uh, jumping into the session on the personalization. So to start with, okay, so how easy to make it for your customers, right? So I'm going to have like eight major categories which actually emphasize your customer experience, which can make it more better. To start with, one is favoriting your devices. So it's always like, you know, so when it comes to automation, when the design's done, when the UI done, so that was like, it's become more constant. So if I wanted to make the changes, then I'll be calling the designer to change, uh, the programmer to change a lot many things. So it makes time. So there are a lot many things around it. So, and then of course, favoriting the rooms. So how the navigation between the rooms make it more smoother. And then uh, wallpapers and the screen server setup. So that is again, another great feature and uh, how we can use the voice commands and the routines to make the things more simple. So that is actually the another great uh, things what we can add up. And uh, in using the programming, customer focused programming. So normally this was like a kind of uh, difficult in previous generation. Like, you know, so most of the time customer will ask, can I do the small changes by myself? Or can I change my lighting schedule? So it turns on by night six o'clock. Instead of that, can I change it to the evening time? or maybe something half an hour before the evening time. So can I do that? So this kind of small, small things where maybe they want to adjust the thermostat settings, all those things. So uh, so that's kind of like every time they really don't have to bother you to, uh, you as a dealer to uh, do it. So they can actually uh, make use of their platform and they can actually uh, adjust few changes as well. And uh, how uh, 
there is a lot of cool uh, cool drivers available in control for that how that makes it more uh, easy for anybody to use it so that's also one of the another thing and uh, yeah, shortcuts like even though if you have the entire ui so you'll have each and every navigation going around so you'll be doing everything but you will always feel that i wanted a shortcut direct button which does certain things for me right so that's where you actually feel the actual autom automation or that's where you'll be like more comfort on doing things instead of going and selecting each and everything so that's the another thing what i'm going to focus on and then of course the last one is uh, dashboard right so what is nothing but uh, so if it is a big home, so you really don't have to go into each and every room to check the things, right? So I can just favorite or I can make one room as like a, just for example, I can make it as a security dashboard and where I can see everything in a single window. So which means a single user interface or the single page. So where it will show each and every devices with actual status. Okay, so these are the eight major uh, key portions. I'm gonna uh, run through it. So on the side by side, I'm just gonna share you share my uh, user interface device as well and see uh, show you how it's very much easy for to do uh, all right so to start with uh, favoriting the devices okay so in control for environment favorite is more simple so it is very simple you just press and hold any of your favorite items and then you can make it to the particular rooms right so i'll just share my screen and show you how the favorites are easy in control for environment All right, so I'm just connecting it from my mobile app. So the first one I talked about is the favoriting the most commonly used icons, right? So for most icon options. So I can easily do that. So how I can actually do it. So I'll just uh, go into my any of my favorite options. Maybe Netflix is my most commonly used option. So I'll definitely not be using each and everything in detail, right? So you can just select and hold my Netflix and then just make it as a favorite and then it becomes your main window. So if you don't want any of the options, so definitely you can always press and hold again and you can rearrange between whatever you wanted to be make it as more prominent. And then of course, if you don't like any of the other options, you can always go ahead and delete it as well. So now it becomes like, you know, your favorite screen just show the particular thing what you really wanted. And at the same time, so if you feel like you want to add it back some options, so for that, what we are actually doing is, so we have this home menu, which is always available, and I can just press and hold that home menu, so then I can favorite to do my room back. So, and easy, easy as it is, right? So as a scenario, just for my kids' room, so my kids only watches a Netflix, right? So maybe a favorite movie channel, uh, then maybe you'll be controlling the lights. The rest of the options, you really don't want it to use it, right? So you really will not be going into each and everything, checking things. So I'll just create a lighting scene and then after, and then I'll create like, you know, uh, your favorites. So only these two options will be easy, visible in his favorite screen. So that becomes more easy for him instead of going into each and everything. So that was my first experience on the user experience so to summarize so the favoriting the devices becomes more easy uh, in uh, this environment so maybe just for example the scenario what i was explaining here so the kids only uses maybe a disney plus and then maybe a favorite music track and few lighting right so i can just go into that particular option and i can i can select what is my favorites and it is not just only the video device or maybe the audio device even your locks lights are cameras so whatever the things you will be preferably using it so you can just favorite it so that's uh, the first one right and then moving on favoriting the rooms which means so maybe even if i have like 10 20 rooms in my home so i'll be not checking each and every room in general right so my favorite room is going to be my living and then my uh, my dining and then my master bedroom so i can just have them as my favorites and then I can navigate between the rooms more easily. So as a scenario, so just like, you know, uh, so if I'm a homeowner, I'll be just looking in my living room, master bedroom, and then of course, uh, whatever the rooms I normally use in. Right, so how does that works in control for environment? So I'm just sharing it again, so. So 
how does I can make my rooms as a favorites? If you select your rooms and there is a pencil icon which is available for the rooms, and then you can just like you can just favorite what are your mostly used options and what are the things which is you really not be using it. And you can just select him and then make it and then just OK. Now you can actually navigate between your favorite rooms. So that becomes more easy. And also when I navigate between the rooms, so that becomes like, you know, using my experience, using my user interface more flawlessly, right? So I really don't have to go into the room, select the room. So I really don't have to do that uh, in here. Right, so that's my uh, second uh, points what I really wanted to highlight on on the favorites and then moving on. Then the wall wallpaper and the screen server. So, uh, and of course, a uh, customer gets, which means uh, as a user gets more uh, option where they can go into the settings and then go into the rooms and they can add the rooms, add the wallpapers, which can actually meet their requirement. The only thing we always highlight is so whenever anything, any of the picture you are uploading, so you always upload the picture, which is more appropriate, right? And also don't add like, you know, two dark images or maybe the low scaled images or maybe over scaled images, which becomes more bright and where it gets abstracts your uh, user interface, uh, the most commonly used icons and other things. But yeah, so that's one of the things uh, which you really need to uh, focus on. And uh, then comes in voice comments. Right, so uh, we always highlight this uh, when it comes to voice comments. We want to do more kind of give it as a customer feature rather than dealer going and configuring it. So of course, customer if the dealer wanted, they can actually do it, but we want to make it more easy for the customers as well. Right, so that's where our major focus on. So how does this normally works in Control Four environment? So I'll just uh, take a run through on this. So. Uh, If I am a customer, so if I am using Control 4 in my home, so it the voice integration is more simple in here. So what they really need to do is, so if they are using a Google Assistant or maybe if they're using a Alexa, so they really just need to go into their Alexa app. So I'm just taking Alexa as an example. So they just need to go into their Alexa app. So they can just need to open the Alexa app and then and adding is pretty much simple. So they just need to go in and like, they can just skills. And then in the skills, you will have control for as a category. And then of course I can search for control for, and then I can just log in with my control for credential, what is given it by my dealers. So once they're done, so this gets actually connects to your system and loads all your control for comments and without any programming. So definitely if you still feel that you wanted to see what is the comments, how does it's gonna work? So what are the things I can actually do with this? So definitely you can always do in. So for that, what you actually need to do is, so we'll just need to log in into your customer's portal. And then of course, uh, I can just go in into one of my portal and I'll just show you how does the comments and also we talked about more on the privacies and other things, right? So how the privacy works in control for, and we said that uh, we are the first one to enable this security privacy guard in home automation environment. So where any of your comments or anything which does not go to any of the third party server, right? So how does that authorization happen? So you just go into your automation. And then of course, if you go into your voice control, so you will have like, you know, so uh, if I go down, so, you have this security privacy guard. So if you disable this, there can be chances that your commands may go to the uh, uh, their host server. If you disable it, so none of the commands actually goes to any of their host. So it directly goes to control for servers and does the performance. So we really don't read any of the commands, right? So, and then of course, if the customer sees the automation, so it'll actually read up almost everything in their project. So what are the commands they need to say everything once the programming is done? And they can just open up the command list and they can say, so if it is a Google, they say just, okay, Google do certain things, turn on, turn off, control the volume, increase the lighting temperature, increase the volume. So it is not just always on and off. You can do volume control and other things as well. 
and in case as a customer if they wanted to change something by themselves they can just change the name also so they can just edit and they can do uh, the changes in there uh, uh, by themselves so uh, it's again it, there is no much pain for a dealer to do here Right, so that was my voice comments on the routines and then moving on for the when and then programming, right? So this was like another great feature for the customers where the customer can have a feel of automation. So they might be proud that they did something on their own, something which worked by for themselves, they can actually do that. So maybe for example, uh, so when they press or when they're watching the movie, so they wanted like to go to 30% or when they stop the movie, so they wanted to have the lights come by itself they can actually do it. So how does that works in control for environment? So again, so I'll just, uh, so in the same customer account, so it, they have the programming feature, so they can actually go and explore by themselves. And definitely it's gonna load it from their actual system. So they it's gonna read the entire projects and the programming or whatever the things you are actually done. Once it is loaded, it's gonna be showing up so you can see all the automation whatever you are actually done so this is actually going to show the customer uh, which means the dealer options as well which means what are the programming as a dealer they have done and at the same time i can categorize it like you know so once if you select on the dealer program it will say it is locked so which means you cannot actually change your dealer programmer unless a dealer is authorized to do any changes right so i can actually go in and chart by the device or the rooms or any of these things you wanted and maybe uh, if they wanted to change the schedule or if they wanted to change any custom buttons or maybe any remote buttons so this is going to show each and everything of that particular home right and uh, what they can actually do is if they want to add something new they can always say add new command and they can it again gives you all the options like you know buttons, lights, fans, audio, video, security devices, sensors, media control. So they can actually select in anything as they want it. And they can just, when this happens, do certain actions. The programming makes it more simple in here. So it's really uh, not a big pain. Again, so, and of course, uh, it is not designed for all the customers. Maybe if some customers really uh, kind of like, you know, uh, picky guy, so they really wanted to play around with all these options, so they can always do that. All right, uh, so that's the when and then, and then of course, uh, for the customers, uh, we do have something called a snapshot. So what is this snapshot? Maybe for example, if you don't understand what is exactly I'm talking about. So maybe for example, uh, so you are watching a movie and then you pass the movie and then you are just going out for a call and then coming back, but in between someone else comes in, maybe so maybe you are, family member comes in, they changes something, but when you back in, so you wanted to call, recall the same scene again. So you can actually do that. So if you add this snapshot, so it can actually record what is the current state. And then when you back, and then you can just recall the snapshot so that it becomes more easy for you to recall whatever you have configured, right? So that, that actually gonna create a very less uh, impact, like, you know, I really don't have to call what I'm playing in or what is my light settings or whether my AC is on which temperature or my blinds are on which temperature. So I really don't have to worry about it. So I can just take the snapshot from a click up button and then I can recall it from my user interface or maybe from my touch screens or any of those interfaces. All right, so that's on the snapshot and how do I use it? And uh, even for the Neo remote also, what we actually offer is uh, we do a shortcut buttons. So where you can just go into the buttons and you can, we do the room remote focused buttons. We have some four or five buttons. They can actually call in and program in. So that is also another easy option uh, for anyone to use it. Like, you know, so they really don't have to go into watch, select. So it, it gives them more easy flexibility. And uh, then the last one is the dashboards, right? So the dashboard is nothing but as I was telling you. So it's kind of uh, a room where you can actually have what are the main devices you are gonna really be focusing on. So you can just have them as a favorites and then you can just add in. So how does it's gonna actually look like in my environment? So I'll just uh, show up. So 
so so what i did is uh, so in my office so i just created something as like you know routines so this is kind of daily routine so like whenever i come in so i'll try and on my master floor or maybe i just open the door and i'll check my few of the cameras so i just created this room and just i enable this to be visible in that particular routines room so when i open this i'll be sure that my lights are off and my training flows are off so if i wanted to turn it on so if i click it so the my lights will get on so when the light is on so you will have the actual feedback your light is on so just by opening here and you can see that so your training floor is on so you can just click again so it's going to turn it off so and even if you wanted to open the door you can just click in and your door going to get open so it's as easy as it is and of course it's connected with sensor i don't think so it'll open up now uh, and again i can actually uh, check in my cameras as well so like i can just select in which are the cameras i'll be really be uh, focusing on so i just wanted a couple of cameras which is my primary cameras so i can just open it up and i can actually see uh, my cameras uh, and with uh, different views and then i can like you know zoom in zoom out so you can call the preset and if your camera support pdc so we do have the pdc option to uh, see the entire things here All right so uh, in short uh, so giving not only the more flexibility and controls to the dealer so even the dealer can actually give more flexibility uh, and personalization the smallest things so because it, these are really not a big matter things but in general if you look at it but this going to create very uh, great impact on your customers right so when the customer uses all these things so they'll be really like wow i can do certain things differently from the automation system as well so that's what uh, we wanted to be differentiate ourselves in so that's our uh, main uh, categories on the personalization and uh, so before i uh, over it to the prakash so i'm just uh, going to run through on how uh, control for is focused on our local market means indian market right so when it comes to regional based so definitely you going to do a lot of uh, work and a lot of development a lot of integration so things need to be done on the local level itself and that's where we are also focusing on so and we do went with a lot of lighting manufacturers locally and then we worked with them closely and we developed the driver to integrate few of the lighting brands and we are still working on few of the other brands to add up into our portfolio and uh, also integrating like you know local setup boxes like you know either it is a tata sky or maybe you have a geo now so it was geo fiber box so any of these things can be added and can be integrated and integration is nothing just like i do with like a basic one way control and it's all actually a two way control drivers what we are actually working up so we have our a lot of third party driver developers and then of course we have our dealers who is working on the driver development as well so they really done a lot of great job to make these things happen so and so and of course uh, maybe we do integrate with like rf devices as well from control for platform so we have the gig to do that or uh, maybe playing the local music services because control for is known for the audio also so we play amazon music spotify natively from the control for and then maybe somebody else comes in and they ask for i have this online radio station can you make it play in my platform it mechanic can control for play so of course we do play that as well so kind of giving more options more flexibility and more focus on our region as well so it is not just like that i focused on one area right so and uh, so and uh, at the same time so we are not pushing up so it has to be my things to do certain things right so It, because when it comes to integration and automation so one thing is only thing we need to do is we need to remove the complexity of integration then only your dealer or customer going to allow the system and at the same time so we provide the easy option to integrate right and uh, these are some of the snapshots how does actually uh, your ui going to look like okay so this was developed by one of our uh, dealer here uh, so uh, we done something called electronic programming guide for like you know if you are using a tata sky or any of the setup boxes where you can categorize the channels and you can favorite the channels and everything it all actually pulls the real time data and it shows what is the current program which is running in and what is the future program you can schedule in as well so uh, so uh, gives you full flexibility on it and uh, few of the local developments on music services and the fm radio other things as well and uh, of course when it comes to control for uh, we even we say we are almost like 90 95% very much focused on 
home automation side. So we are investing more on that and we are uh, doing a lot of researches, a lot of things and a lot of investment goes back to our home environment at the same time. So uh, a few of our dealers actually took the control for ECF programming and they wanted to do this level of automation into the commercial space as well. Maybe hospitality projects or maybe hotels or hospitals or come uh, maybe a boardroom automation. So all those things. So this were actually uh, one of the driver developed by one of the third party developer, uh, which is actually uh, used in Cisco uh, office uh, for their uh, project and then uh, so this is actually another uh, experience where they used the option for gym so where they had the custom experience buttons and then where they have added uh, so different icons for the different modes and where they can call in between and of course uh, when it comes to automation so definitely you can do integrate with everything as in general uh, but uh, of course if you know what you're actually doing it so that makes it more easy and that will actually help you even do it more and better and which can actually delight your customers. So that's the whole story here. All right, so, and uh, so I definitely I'm not gonna take much of the time. So I'm just uh, gonna give it to our, one of the smart home pro. So where you want to share his smart home experience with his smart developments and uh, he's uh, Prakash Rola from DTA automation. And uh, so, is uh, he is actually doing uh, control for drivers and he always do a lot of unique projects and uh, he know how to use the system. So and he has his own uh, technical support team. So the team to develop, help, install program. So he, he, he does his job perfectionally. So I'll just give it to him. So uh, Prakash, you can actually take control. And you can share your screen. So I'll just stop my screen sharing. Muthanik, can you hear me? Yeah, Prakash, go ahead. Hello. Okay. So I'll be sharing my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? I think it's still low. Yep. Okay, so thank you so much, Mithami, and Suman for giving me this opportunity. And thank you so much for uh, guys for taking time out to uh, be on this webinar. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining. This is Prakash from DK Automation. Uh, as Mithami talked about how things should be simple for a user, and I will be talking about how you can expand the control for ecosystem with more IP control integration, voice, and other customization that goes beyond uh, uh, more user-friendly, more uh, control to a client on a single uh, fingertip. So without wasting more time, I will dive, dive straight through the driver presentation. Uh, today, I'll, I'll go through some of my interesting drivers and I'll show you how it changes the user experience. So, uh, now, our first driver is uh, Cover Me. So it catalogs all the movies that are sold on your on your uh, best drive or uh, uh, a movie storage. Uh, it uh, gets the cover art and all the movies information from the internet, and uh, it, it gives a very very uh, unique and uh, user friendly experience to a to a user. So uh, guys, I'll, I'll be not talk about much more on this driver as you uh, already might have more information on this. I'll be talking more about our new driver that, that will be on the last on the presentation. I'll give you all the details and how it uh, goes, uh, goes with the control force system. So our next driver is Tata Sky IP driver. As you can see, you can have a full control of your Tata Sky uh, device with all the uh, remote control uh, buttons on the control force system and with the IP connection, you can have a very fast and uh, more uh, faster response when uh, controlling the device. Channel switching is very fast. Uh, more often you will find uh, when you're controlling Tata Sky with the IR, uh, IR you you uh, lose the connection. The customer complains about uh, not he's not getting his Tata Sky uh, control. 
So most of the time, uh, you'll, you'll find that the IR bar is not stick uh, uh, on the device. So this driver will help you out with that uh, problem. The another big feature of this driver is uh, that it works very really beautifully with our ETG driver. That is going to uh, next. I'm going to show you. So this is our uh, ETG driver. Mithali talked about in uh, his presentation also. So as you can see, you will get all your channels of Tata Sky with the beautiful icons. And uh, what is the currently running show on the channel? It will give you the all the information. Uh, you can personalize your channel. You can favorite your channel from anywhere. Even even you can favorite on your dashboard also. So if you are if you are watching particular two three channels, so you can personalize that channel to your uh, uh, room dashboard. So it will be always available to you. Whenever you tap that uh, icon, it will it will launch the Tata Sky. It will turn on the TV. So you don't have to go through the guide menu every time you you want to watch uh, watch something on the TV. So our next driver is for Geo TV IP driver. So again, we we come up with the IP IP control of Geo TV setup box. So again, it, it will give you all the functionality of uh, navigation, channel up down, uh, guide menu, and even the mini app control. Like you can you can select the Geo Cinema directly from control for interface. So you don't have to uh, scroll to the Geo menu anymore. You just tap the Geo Cinema and it will launch directly Geo Cinema app on the Geo TV. So the, the another drive, uh, driver and, and the hardware we, we are doing with this full channel uh, fan beamer. This is developed by one of the hardware developers who mean my team. Again, it is IP control with the auto discovery feature of the IP, IP auto discovery. Uh, manual control is also there on the um, uh, module. Uh, module. It gives you full speed control and the additional speed control. Uh, it, it has a two way feedback. It comes with one year warranty. And again, this, this, this device is available directly from us. So, uh, so our next driver is uh, Apple HomeKit driver. So uh, many of you know about like HomeKit uh, integration is there on uh, with control uh, in control for by uh, some other developers also. How our driver is different uh, from uh, like how our driver is giving more features that I'll show you uh, with my. Uh, how you can set up the driver on computer. Uh, when we add the driver in the uh, project, it will automatically find all the thermostat and blinds. So you don't have to uh, uh, program all the thermostat and blinds individually in the driver. It will automatically get all the thermostat and blind and it will make available to uh, uh, TV to control it. The driver also gives the option for uh, to add a uh, a dimmer, or or a pin that will that will I show you uh, on the computer. Additionally, you can rename or delete a device from the composer only, so you don't have to go to any web browser and uh, do the configuration there. All all the configuration and all the setup you have to do in composer only. It works with iPhone, Apple TV, HomePod. It also gives you, gives you a, a free remote access through Apple Home app. Uh, uh, we and uh, some of our dealers have done actually extensive beta testing in their showroom to make sure this driver is ready for the customer install. I encourage everyone to uh, please install this, this into their showroom so you, you get to know how you can control your uh, your control core systems through uh, TV and uh, Apple devices. So our next driver is uh, Apple Shortcut. So uh, uh, this is our recent driver that we have developed for Apple Shortcut app. For those who don't know about Apple Shortcut app, uh, it is an app that uh, gives you extensive control of your uh, phone functionality, uh, as well as a few other great features. 
it helps you to automate your daily tasks uh, more easily and more efficiently. You can uh, create the button and program it to do various, various tasks. Uh, with the uh, extensive integration possibility and control, Apple Shortcut app gives you a great platform to develop some cool functionality using our driver. Uh, it works faster than any other user interface. Believe me. Uh, so uh, you, you, if you uh, try it on your phone, you will get to know about this. It works great with Siri, HomePod, and all the other uh, Apple devices. Uh, with the uh, with upcoming release of iOS 14, uh, uh, it can it can give you ability to uh, uh, visit uh, visit of the shortcut app on your home screen. So you always have a uh, buttons on your home screen, so you can do the your daily uh, uh, task easily. So you, if you want to touch the phone on the light, you just tap the button at your, uh, it will work. Uh, leveraging the shortcuts gives you very uh, fast and very uh, easy control for all your day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, we have uh, created some uh, great examples, and I, I'll show you on the my iPad screen. Just uh, give me one second, so I can I can share my iPad screen. Uh, is it visible? Hello? Yeah, 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 very much. Okay, okay. So uh, this is my iPad screen. So as you can see, uh, I'll show you the Apple HomeKit integration first, then I'll, I'll come with, uh, go with the shortcut uh, demo. So as you can see, uh, you can see uh, I've just set up my living room for this. You can have a light on off. The same functionality you can do uh, from the TV also. So you can control your thermostat that is there in the control for project. So you will have all the controls, temperature, everything. You can control your blinds. So on, on the con uh, con control for side, this is our CD driver, the HomeKit driver. So as you can see, when you when you you can see my uh, composer screen, right? Okay. So uh, if you want to add any lights or switch or scene, you just have to select. Suppose I I want to add a master light, mask that is there in the master bedroom. So I I, I type a name. Suppose it is a switch. Then I set it, and I'll just set it as a switch. And when I select as a scene, if I want to control uh, uh, more than one light, then I, I'll create a scene. So it will add additional pop up one more property. So I can I can select more light. I can select the light that I want to control, and I I can uh, set the level also. Which level they should go when when I when I select that scene. So we can do that also. You can delete a command that is there in the uh, uh, home page side. You can also rename. Like most of the time, you you uh, uh, created a uh, added a thermostat and it is it is a name like a living thermostat or something like that. You can you can uh, change change that name and it, it, you can make it more user friendly for for a uh, user to uh, when, when they uh, ask TV to turn on or turn off the uh, thermostat. So here I have a thermostat called Living. So I can rename it. I can I can delete it. Here you can see uh, I have deleted one thermostat. So whenever I delete a thermostat, it will show you uh, as a deleted in the packet. So uh, whenever you you want uh, to delete something, you can delete it from here only from the composer only. You can have a more uh, control on blinds. You can rename the blinds. You can delete the blinds. 
here I've deleted two blanks that I, that I, that I don't want to see on the uh, CD and the home kit side. So whenever you, you you finish your setup, you just have to press send voice command and it will it will send all the voice command to the uh, uh, HomeKit interface. So this is how our uh, home HomeKit integration works. So next is our uh, Apple Siri shortcut driver. This is very small and very very powerful driver that we have created recently. So when when you have a uh, Apple CD shortcut driver stuff. Even the shortcut driver will, uh, whatever you shortcut you have created, it will, it will work with CD also. So, so uh, you can add a uh, add a shortcut name or a command here, and it will pop up the list here. And on the iPad side, I'll show you. So here I have created few uh, example uh, uh, buttons. So whenever I press I uh, make sure you can see my composer screen also. Okay. So you can see how fast you get you get the response. So if I want to uh, turn it on the AC, so when I when I press, you you see uh, the AC on command is there. If I if I want to turn on the light, you see. The light on command is there. You can program the, all this command on the programming side. So this is how fast the driver works. I, I'll uh, give you some idea about how you can utilize a shortcut uh, driver uh, on the Apple side. So, uh, so here is my uh, shortcut app on the iPad. So I can I can create a shortcut. So this is the command that will go on the control core. When, whenever I fire this uh, shortcut, it will go to control core and do the programming that I've done. It will execute the programming that I've done on the control core side. Okay, I think uh, the iPad screen is still not visible on the other end. You, you can see the, the shortcut that I've selected, right, Balcom? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, one can you see the? Yeah, Prakash, tell me. Uh, you, you, you can see the icon shortcut that I'm editing right now, right? No. Or, or it's just the uh, okay. The previous one. Now, okay. Now it shows you a shortcut okay. as welcome. Okay, so this is my welcome uh, shortcut that I created. So it, it, here you can see the options like you can do the scripting. You can you can put the conditions like uh, it is time and day is day. You can uh, you can execute this command. So all the features are there. So you you have to uh, use your uh, customers. Like what he can modify and what he can do with the Apple shortcut driver, and that is a, a power to control for system. So another another thing we have done is a security check uh, 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 shortcut. So whenever a fire, uh, whenever I do uh, shortcut, I think it's still loading on the other side. I can I can see one of my screen is uh, not loading properly. Okay, so uh, you can see security check. So whenever I fire this uh, shortcut now, so it will it will uh, go into control for system. Uh, did you guys hear that? Okay, so it will go into control for system. It will check my kitchen door, main door, and the living window is uh, uh, the state of the all these contact centers. So I'll fire it again. And you can you can you can make it to speak 
you can make it to speak also so uh, this is more uh, helpful for the elderly and the user who, who has a uh, uh, disability so they can just fire a shortcut and get the no get to know about the sensor details and everything okay the another thing we have done is a uh, uh, door lock uh, shortcut and the gate shortcut so whenever you arrive at your home you can just fire a shortcut and it will open the gate the another thing you can do is a geo fencing is also there in uh, apple shortcut if i go to uh, Okay, automation. I'll add one and create personal automation. So here you can see. So when I arrive to arrive to my house, I can trigger two things. When I leave to my house, I can trigger two things like the the, the lock to close. Uh, it can give you the uh, list of the sensors that uh, list of the doors and windows that are open. So then so this is how geo fencing will work with the uh, apple shortcut driver so uh, so technically you you have to create create the shortcut in one device and you can share it with the airdrop or or a icloud icloud link so we have we will be sharing this all the uh, shortcuts to you uh, our our dealer and the programmers to to utilize these shortcuts on um, please and you can can do more things on, on control four as well as apple apple side so this is all i have right now and uh, if you have any questions uh, you can ask now and uh, utam is over to you Thank you, Prakash. That was really wonderful. Thank you. I think in our home automation platform, I think you are the first one to made it uh, easy for integrating with the Apple Siri, I suppose, because previously it always need to have like you know HomePod, and then a lot of configuration around it, additional options. So now I think uh, yeah. it will be made it more easy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Um, thank you, thank you for everyone's time today, and uh, of course we will open up for questions now. So anybody have any questions? Anybody wanted to interact with Prakash on his uh, uh, developments? And anybody have any issues on this? Uh, anything? Sorry, any feedbacks on his drivers? So definitely you can always share in. And you can just go ahead and unmute by yourself. I don't think so. We have always kept on mute. Hi, Prakash. Hi. Hi, Prakash. This is an excellent uh, innovation. Thank you so much for you know connecting us to the Apple shortcuts. We always knew it exists, but there was no way we could connect it to Control Four. So I think that's a very good innovation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.